All right, so this video, we're going to be talking about our success goals. We're going to track our scores on the nine weeks test, the second nine weeks, the third nine weeks, and our ELC. Okay? So, please pay attention. There are a lot of columns, so it kind of may get confusing, but it's not that hard. First thing you need to do, make sure you put your name on your paper. Please put your name on your paper. <laughs> so, this is going to track our scores on our test. The first thing we need to do is create a goal, and then we can track our scores. So, our minimum score that we want to get is a 24, okay? 24 means 24 questions out of the 54, which I think we all can do. That's what you have to have to pass the test, 24 questions. I don't settle for minimum, though. We don't settle for minimum in here. So my goal for the entire class, sis, all of my classes, are these two. We need to get at least 34 questions right or 42 questions right. I think we all could be advanced. But I know we all better be college ready. <laughs> so to put our goals, it says, to show growth during the year, I will improve my raw score during each assessment. Your raw score is how many questions you get right. So for the first nine weeks, I want everybody's raw score to be at least 34 questions. So here where it says goal, don't fill out the score yet. We don't know our scores. We haven't taken the test. So here where it says goal, that very first column, I want you to shade to the 34. This is for everybody, for the first nine weeks test. This means that I want everybody to get 34 questions correct. Now, What I want you to do on this side of the bar, this is my goal for you. I want everybody to get 34 questions right. But on this side, I want you to tell me what you think you can get. It better be at least 34. You have to at least have 34. But I want you to tell me, if you think you can get advanced, I want you to shade up to advanced. This is this side right here for goal. I want you to tell me what your goal is on the test. So my goal on the test, I want to get advanced. After we take our test next week, when we get our scores back, on this side, we're going to track our score. Okay? So on this side, let's say Ms. James takes her test on Monday or next week, and I get this many questions correct. Don't fill this in. But let's say that's my score. We are trying to track how close I am to my goal. So if this was my score on my test, I need two more questions to get to my goal. Okay. So this part, we're not going to fill in until after we take our test. For now, I just want you to track. This is what Ms. James wants everybody to get. This side, I want to be your goal, whatever your personal goal is. If you're not sure yet because you just don't know what you might get on the test, keep it at 34. Do not go less than 34 because we are all going to get 34 questions correct. Okay? Now here at the bottom. Here at the bottom is what you are going to fill out. Every grading period, you are going to track what you do in class. And take this part seriously, guys. If I see you checking something that I know you didn't do, like if you check turned in all assignments on time and I know you did not, 
oh, we're going to have a little conference. Be honest about yourself. This is really going to reflect how much effort we're putting in. If we only have one check on this side, by this nine weeks, we need to have some more checks. Okay, so be honest about this part. Was in class and prepared every day. If you know that you've been absent several days, don't check that box. Because being absent does put you back. Use class time well. If you know that during the stations you may have joked off a lot and that's probably why your scores are the way they are, don't check that box. We did take some good notes. We took some good Cornell notes. Did I always show my work or did I just circle the answer on the test? Did I write anything down? Did I rush through my assignments? Did I just do it right before I got to class? Did I actually attend tutoring or did I just go when I was failing to put in missing work? Tutoring is not for you to make up your grade. Tutoring is for extra help when you don't understand something. So this is what I want you guys to fill out. On the back side. So. Based on what you checked, I want you to honestly think about your actions for the first nine weeks. What were some of your strengths? Everybody needs to have three. If you think you were really good at this and you did really well at this, write it down. I don't want to see, I can't curse in the video, but I don't want to see half A remarks. Do not put my strengths were coming to school. That's not a strength. That's something you are expected to do. Okay? How about a strength like this? My strengths were finding slope on a table. I'm real good at that. I know I'm good at that. My strengths were working with my group. My strengths were completing my homework on time. What did you do well this nine weeks? Paying attention in class, asking questions when I really didn't understand, YouTubing videos so maybe I can understand.